Cheryl likes to say they, they adopted me. That's, that's the word she uses. They adopted me, and, and, and they did. And, and, and so their courage and their resilience um, in the face of this tragedy, you know, um, we, we were filming for the first 10 years just hanging out. That was, there was no plan to it. It was just home videos, and, and, and Emmanuel shot a lot of that footage that you saw tonight. Denise and Smurf shot a lot of this footage. But after, after Emmanuel passed, uh, within hours, you know, I, I came to D.C. and I, w I was living back in my hometown in Michigan. And, uh, and Cheryl said, where's the camera? Because she had the insight and the wisdom to recognize. She said, this is such a common story in Southeast D.C. This is, and Northeast D.C. This, is, this has happened to many friends of mine and their kids lost to gun violence. But she said, she recognized, she said, nobody has been documented as thoroughly throughout their entire life as my son Emmanuel was. And she saw that this was, this could be a vehicle. You know, that, that people, you know, gun violence in cities like D.C. is, can be abstract or it can be a statistic to people, but she recognized that the footage, you know, showing Emmanuel from since he was a little kid, the footage that he shot most of it, you know, um, would, would help put people in this family's shoes. She recognized that. She said we must film everything. She had seen her friends who had lost their own children to gun violence, and, and she knew what the days and weeks and months following were going to hold for her. And she said, let's film all of it.